Mm -hmm. uh, I don't here. Warfish Industries is just a an organization which is currently growing and trying to <clears throat> do basically every aspect of the game, uh, which is every aspect which is supposed to be in the game. So we don't earn money by glitches and stuff. We just earn money by mining, the hauling, combat, touring. Uh, cap you can do stuff like capital. Our pilot is a capital uh, sector leader. Uh, capital means you just fix big. You just yeah, you just make it so that people have access to big ships when they want to do operations. And we're currently still trying to improve our Discord. And we have like those channels which in which you joined as passenger, uh, where you can sign up for operations. Yeah, that's basically Warfish Industries. Uh, I'm coming down now. Okay, I'll put the elevator down so you can get up. Can you uh, enable the power as quickly as possible? Alpha gaming, because it's kind of dark here. Please move to the back of the ship, so if you don't know where to go, follow me, it's kind of dark. Is everyone at the ship? But you can already open the doors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm on the elevator. How do I send it up? Okay, uh, our party got disbanded for some uh, reason. Like 30k, god damn it. Uh, no, really, because the bandwidth in is still up. Yeah, but the party disbanded. Yeah, that might be a sign. Uh, ouch. No. What the fuck, I died. What the hell? This yeah. is even weirder, I'm inside the ship now. Yeah. yeah. We're taking the Phoenix, well, or...? Yeah, it's the Phoenix now. Okay. Um, it should be 152,000 to be exact. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, yeah, just get into the thing. D not uh, two people max on the elevator at a time. Okay, well, yeah. Oh, he'll be on here. And then he... I'll go back. Uh, yellow house? Yes. Can you tr try traveling to uh, Everest Harbor or Bajini Point on Arcorp as quickly as possible? R Corp. Yeah. I'll try my best. Because. I don't know which seat I wanna take. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, important thing do not take any seats. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> the Phoenix. <laughs> that's also a reason why I didn't want to use this ship, but. Well. I got yeah, us, man. I got us. <laughs> okay, cool. The seats kinda suck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the the ones next to the window. So just stand. I'll watch. Do I still have my things? Wait, I thought this could open the jacuzzi. You're you're not the bartender. Uh, the, yeah, the jacuzzi could open, but I it doesn't seem to be. A, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't work for me at least. Um, it is called Hyper Vanguard Force. Ah. So basically, you can, somebody can play, yeah, play a game. game with your shirt. Yeah. Normally, I wear a cool jacket on top of it, but the server decided to yeah. get rid of it. I also have this weird raccoon hat thing. I'll wear it. I don't know why I have it. On under hat, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Space assassin. Yeah. Why not? She doesn't. Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't talk, I don't know why, and I do not want to ask her why. Alright. Oh, but why days... aren't the touring group, the crew, not with the passengers? Like, why can't we talk to each other? 
Oh, you guys can't talk to each other. You just. Oh. <laughs> God. Like the crew. The crew, like, you can talk to one of the bartenders, but the other, the engineer bartender, you, she won't respond only by chat. So you can talk uh, to her. Uh, when she's bar bartender, sorry, I actually dropped uh, one smoothie on the floor. The bartender isn't yet in this voice channel. I'll ask her to get in this one. <laughs> Just get all of them. Oh, it's is... already. She's already fixing it. Yeah, that, sorry, sorry, that was my mistake. <laughs> honest. Great. It's working. Okay. Look at how beautiful the seat fits. Yeah, it works. Oh my god, I'm not, oh, no. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry, you're just T-posing whilst drinking. <laughs> this looks kind of dumb. <laughs> we even have some apples on board. Food. And even X's. Wow. Thanks. Mm, quite silent in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very beautiful. Do you know how many people live on our court? I don't actually know that. I'm sorry. I know a lot of stuff about our court, but I don't know that. Okay. And then no, we'll no, depart no. immediately. Okay, you so. Can actually I'll... enter more quickly through the top. Yeah. What? You don't. Oh, it doesn't matter. The, the, the elephant is already down. The, uh. What's it called? Docking port. On my way. Out of my ship. There's a docking port here. On the top of your elevator. <laughs> I believe that's just what I'm talking. Oh. I didn't. There is a docking okay. port here. Oops. Okay, so we are currently quantum traveling towards Lyria. Lyria is the, or Lyria is the closest or the first moon of Arcorp. Lyria is, uh, yeah, I'll tell more about it as soon as we arrive. We can see the moon at the left window. Lyria is in is in the, an ice moon. It's very with a lot of like it's basically made up of d dirty ice. It has a lot of geothermal activity, such as cryogenesis and cryovolcanoes. The atmosphere of Lyria reaches about a height of 24 kilometers, and the atmosphere is very thin. It's only about 0 0.09 atmospheres, so 0 0.09 instead of one, which we have on Earth. The atmosphere is mostly made out of uh, made up of oxygen and a tiny bit of water and and anhydrous ammonia. <coughs> Lyria also has its own comma ray, just like every single moon and planet in the Stanton system. Oh, I got a question about Lyria. Is there any valuable resources on it that we can? Well, Bother in the future. <laughs> the Stantomist system is very commercial, so a lot of minerals have already been mined. But yeah, Lyria does have some minerals. There are quite a few mining, uh, mining outposts because of that. I don't exactly know which minerals. I'm sorry, I'm not a miner. <laughs> no worries. Well, we are currently traveling, you can see Lyria in the right window. We are currently traveling towards Humboldt Mines. Humboldt Mines is a mining outpost owned by uh, the Humboldt Mines Research Partners, or Humboldt Research Partners. It has some nice mountains around it, and that's why we're going here. It just looks nice. <laughs> What about Humboldt Research Miners or whatever they are? They Humboldt isn't... Research Mines? There isn't a lot of information about Humboldt Research Mines. Okay. If you don't like that, <laughs> go to CIG. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm just asking questions, just in case. Mm -hmm. I'll basically tell all information I know, but uh, unfortunately, the Arcorp tour 
is one of the tours with the, with the fewest lore. It's actually the tour with the fewest lore. The Hurston tour and the Crusader tour and the Microtech tour, which is I'm not done with that at this point in time, are will have a lot of more lot more information. This is only about one page of information, and oh. those are two and a half or even three pages of information. Is it still active up until this day? It is still active. Okay. It doesn't have any landing pads or other facilities apart from it should have delivery and stuff. But that's about it. So planes just or ships rather just land on the side of it? Yeah, and no big ships land here. Okay. There isn't really any space for that. <laughs> Unfortunately we don't have any vehicles on board at this point in time. Uh this means we won't be landing here and driving around. That is something I want to do in the future. I actually wanted to do it today, but I kind of forgot that. I expected such a big group that, well, party lunch was kind of needed, kind of needed. Okay. And then it takes a long time to get vehicles. So we'll okay. uh, we'll exit the atmosphere again and go to the next moon because this is basically the entire moon, <clears throat> ice and mountains. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Quite pretty. I mean. This re resembles a bit uh, like Lapland in Earth. Yeah. Mm. I think it's also pretty good that the ship's artificial gravity is apparently so strong it just ignores the actual gravity of the planet we're leaving. <laughs> but, but, not, but not, not fully. I mean, I, I can see our characters wobbling around. Yeah. So it, it doesn't compensate fully. Which is good. I mean, we could be flying nice. upside down and stand, still stand on the floor normally. Yeah. Can we? Let's ask. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> still, I think it's. I, I prefer that to us, like, literally just flopping around the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I can try it for you. Sit. Fuck it. YOLO. Well, I guess I'm in the chair. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Dude. Yeah. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Uh... <laughs> Well, it was the bug before. Normally you could sit, but since they fixed it... <laughs> I just fixed it. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, what happened? Did we explode? <laughs> we, we didn't explode, something else exploded. <laughs> something I think else, the yeah. guy flew into us. Well, you can, you can leave yeah, the yeah. chair. Oh. You can leave the chair, that's not... Okay. Good. Can tunnel where I flew can, into can we, why, can with why? With why you can leave? Can we panic now? Yeah. We good? <laughs> good. How do you talk chat with uh, numpad something like right? Number plus. What do you mean? Ah! Crash! Crash! crash explosion! explosion. <laughs> well. I'm already in my suit. Look at that golden suit. Yes. You can just buy it from shops. Really? Any, anything interesting on Vala? Green rocks and gems? Yeah, but any, any kind of sites like wrecks and stuff. Oh, that I do not know. I know there's a, a wreck of a ship on. What's it called again? Uh, it's a moon around Crusader. Yeah, on Daymar. Yeah, we we found it, and there's um. 
another in a microtech mood. Uh, so oh. there, there's those around. Yeah. I didn't know about the. But uh, microtech one. Yeah. Yellow house is a golden one. <laughs> it's really golden. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what was, are you gonna shoot a freaking ship down? <laughs> okay. okay, cool. You never know what's coming at you, so better be prepared. You have a <laughs> what rail gun with you? No, I just rocket launcher. Okay. Like Wait, you never know what's gonna happen. It looks like the rail. Oh no, it is a rocket launcher. Yeah. How do you equip a knife? No, it's, mm. If you have a knife equipped, please do not use takedown. You can kill people very quickly with that. Oh yeah, we can do takedowns. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't want anyone to die, please. <laughs> <laughs> no fatalities. <laughs> Interesting. Why does it oh, look like God. there's salt in the middle of this little? Place? Yeah. Something like that. No idea. Well, well I'm a special going person. down. Ah, uh, guys, you... don't jump off. You will die. We go eleven. Yeah, that's why Pembroke armor is sufficient for every tour except Microtech. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, yeah, it looks like the cargo elevator is like half open. Ah, uh, that sucks. It is jammed. Well, we have to live with it, I guess. Okay, so these are the gems and outcrops I was talking about. As you can see, they do quite nice. Can you stop shooting? I was going to ask, yeah. They are also a very nice place to take screenshots. You may of course take screenshots. If you have any screen, the nice looking screenshots, you can post them in the Discord channel uh, in, this, in this Discord server called Screen Vids. It's under media. Do I hear explosions? No. Right. <sighs> okay. The crew is very, very I'll, loyal. I'll try to... Uh, throw the chemical light to the orbit. Whoa! Was that just me or did it just flew into orbit? Far, into far orbit. at least. Uh, did, was it screens bits? Was that the one you're talking about? Yeah, screen bits. We yeah. can't pick these up, right? No, you mm. can't. We cannot what? do anything with them except take nice screenshots and look at them because they're so shiny. 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 <laughs> the Banu is another interstellar species. Actually, the first one we met as humans. Uh, and they are friendly towards us and we trade a lot with them. And what they are like kind of addicted to skill. So when someone has a lot of skill, they're like. Oh my god, this person has a lot of skill. They don't care about winning and that kind of stuff. They just care about skill. And so uh, the Banu also really like Sata Ball because they love watching players having like being really good at a game. And this actually made uh, yeah, this actually had some problems because they would just scream and cheer whenever like someone scored. Don't it doesn't matter which team or just when someone scored or just did something cool, everyone, all Banus just started screaming like, woohoo! <laughs> Not like that, but you get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And they have, uh, there are quite a few stadiums now, uh, which have like a separate tri tribune for Banus, because humans got annoyed uh, of the Banus just constantly screaming, even though like their team was losing. I think that's the is, uh, I like it the most about the lore. Banu were those bird-like? Uh, no. no, turtles. 
No, the Banu aren't the turtles, the Banu aren't the bird-like. The Banu are the most abstract in my opinion, they don't look like Wait, anything we know. The, the Tavarian turtle... were the birds. What? The Tavarian were the birds? The yeah. turtles are the Xeon. Oh, the Xeon, yes. Well, the ships look nice. Um, is one of those stadiums, by the way, in the Stanton system? No, the Stanton system does not have any stadiums. Uh, yet. Or not yet, exactly. <laughs> I actually never knew about this. Yeah. I've always gone through this ship, but I never knew there was this. Yeah. Uh, I just noticed <laughs> that there's a hatch to some some secret place. Yeah, it's through the cargo bay. Yeah, yeah cargo. okay. So we will no, be... Don't go down there, you'll suffocate. Okay. Okay. We are currently Ooh. going to land on Arcorp Mining uh, Area 61. It has a vehicle spawning place. You can spawn your own vehicle or Ooh. I will spawn a vehicle for Ooh. you. It also has some some of those gems on the surface, so that's why I chose this one to go to. They're on ships, right? Uh, oh, I do man. not know for sure. I'm not as ac an expert on ships yet. We have Tavarin and Banu ones, but nothing. What about the... Uh... Can I spawn my <laughs> retaliator? Why does it allow me to spawn a retaliator? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say so you can. Just okay. Chill. Cool. Uh, oh, you, got the fi you got the first one. Which one that is the racing variant of the Tumbro? Red ones go fast. The red one. Yeah, the, the red, red one, one is, is the first one. Yeah, uh, um, is it the Cyclone, the Cyclone Double A, or the Cyclone RM? RC. Cyclone RC. Oh, yes. I don't know. Or, oh, R. maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in one. The engineer, you, if you want to, you can disembark, but if you just want to stay on the ship, that's also fine. Why not, goddammit? I can't even... Not even a Mustang can be bombed. No. Uh, like, these are really tough things. You, you can respawn M50. Well, I don't have anyone, anything then. I, I can, yeah, I can no, spawn I can... on one for you if you want. No, no, I can spawn. I, I, okay. uh, what kind of ship or what do you want? A Grand Fugo or a small flying just thing? Just the fast, fast car. No fast car? I'll just spawn the fast car then. Or retrieve the fast car. It's outside on pad one. Thank you. Whee! By the way, this is still one of my early tours, so you're kind of in the alpha tours of an alpha game. Okay. Uh, so if you have any feedback, please give it to me. Oh, well, that is good. Yeah. Beginning was kind of slow, like an yeah, hour of yeah. waiting. Oh, yeah. but otherwise. No! Watch out for the crew! Look at that! My bad. Uh, here, I was driving over the crew head. now. Actually, oh, my bad. driving around oh. in a moon is a is a really good, good program. Legendary, are you still alive? Do you want the ride? I don't know. It's beneath me, so I don't know. Yeah, I know the start was a bit slow. I have to improve on that. Yeah, but that's also a bit uh, because the game decided to uh, crash. You, you maybe should stop their their ragdoll through there. <laughs> oh, I feel <laughs> so <laughs> freaking bad. I don't know if they're, if they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling also, so bad now. You also said you didn't have time to put vehicles in. Uh, if you store them, 
in the ship and then store the ship, they stay in there. So yep. Yep. you can do that in advance, in case you didn't know. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. It's just that I kind of failed today. today doing that. Oh, it fair all enough. went kind of wrong. Um, Let's go up the hill. Is, is the engineer oh, okay? Friend. The engineer is... I kinda, I kinda oh. miss... I kinda miss... Oh my god. Oh god. I didn't... I... I just found a vehicle and it's gone? Who took my vehicle? Hello? Oh shit. No, 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 no. I don't wanna... Uh, uh, sorry. Happening? Sorry. Magic happens. Oh, let's go. Here. Let's go to that blue uh, dot on the mountains. We already dot crashed dot. to each other. Oh shit, rock. Oh, it's gone. Is there a self-status thing on this? Please don't disappear on me again. Which variant of Cyclone is fastest? RC. That's one. The racing one. You can use shift, uh, you know, like the shift key as an afterburner, but it's kind of different, but it has the same effect. It makes you go quicker, accelerate quicker. Ouch. Ouch. Oh boy. Rocks, 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 rocks. Oh, oh no. I, I might have crashed. Um, please try avoiding dying. <laughs> <laughs> please try avoiding death on this cruise. <laughs> no, I mean, game might crash. Oh. Uh, uh, the WFI is not responsible for anyone dying. <laughs> well, don't worry. Okay, I'm, I'm back at the car. Oh, you're just as in game. As someone can pick me up. Yeah, sure. So basically, I I think I crashed to the rock and my game crashed because I I think my game thought that I was having too much fun. Oh. <laughs> Can I try? Uh, we need to pick up. Uh, uh, me, because I'm gonna blow up my ship. Give me a sec. Okay. Everyone can bet get back into the ship and. You yep. don't need armor anymore because we won't be uh, we won't be landing anymore. We won't land on our corp. And okay. well, if we do, you can breathe there, so it's fine. It's not Hurston. Blue screen on board. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our corp. Ah, that's the face I wanted to see. You can now uh, see the planet from both windows and the lights of the city. The R Corp Corporation is was one of the highest bidding corporation corporations when the UE decided to sell uh, the planets and moons of the Santum system to big corporations or mega corporations. They the UE the UEE the United Empire of Earth decided to do this because they uh, didn't have the funds to terraform and make the all planets and moons livable and usable. And they decided that they themselves needed money for the Synthworld project. If you have any questions on that, you can ask them later. Arcorp got Stanton free, which is now called Arcorp. Very original. The Arcorp Corporation uh, terraformed the planet and made a super Earth from Stanton free. The atmosphere is basically like Earth and which of course means it's breathable. Arcorp is a corporation corporation which does everything like mining, manufacturing, fusion engines, terraforming, etc. Arcorp is the is the most industrialized planet in human space in the UEE. The Xian actually uh, 
they this is the only planet the Xeon actually are like oh this looks like our factory worlds the Xeon also have factory worlds the entire planet of Arcorp is uh, every basically all space you can build on has been built on factories facilities skyscrapers this is also because like not Arcorp itself it's that big they just sold all the land they <laughs> they didn't need anymore to smaller corporations question mm -hmm. where can I buy my house I don't think if you want to live on Arcorp but if you <laughs> want to um, Arcorp oh, they don't sell houses yet you can uh, sleep in the in the area 18 a habitation uh, building, I forgot the name, god damn it. Uh, it's a factory uh, where you work for your money. I'm sorry, what? Or you can live in the factory where you work for your living money. Well, Arcorp does it a little bit different, but Arcorp, the comp company, is not has not a great reputation. Except for the products they make. The can corporation... You more on, uh, hmm? Can you elaborate more on the bad rep? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll tell the history of Arcorp and why they have a bad rap. Arcorp was founded in 2687, so about 200 years ago, as an exploration company, which is totally different from what it is now. It was just founded by a few friends who were like, you know what, we'll just use a store all hangar and our old Zeus uh, 4 to locate jump points and hopefully get bounty money from bounty money for, from the UEE. They weren't successful and they changed into this ginormous mega corporation by mining and being very very lucky with mineral and finding minerals. They also decided to buy a terra well kind of overtake a terraforming company in a very not legal way. After this, they dis they noticed that manufacturing those kinds of engines had some bad side effects, uh, and environmentally, and also just on the people who work for them. The problem with Arcorp now is that they don't seem to be very nice to those employers. The working conditions in the factories of the fusion engines are very bad and very often deadly. Next to that, that's just because fusion engines, you get in contact with a lot of chemical substances and other dangerous machines, which can easily kill you. The other, like the other reason, that uh, they wanted a planet from the UAE. They wanted, well, they just wanted this planet because they decided, you know what, those producing those engines destroys a a planet's ecosphere, and so they bought this one to destroy this one so that they don't didn't have to destroy any other yeah sorry uh, so they bought this planet for to produce the yeah engines mainly because they are now one of the biggest and basically the most standard fusion engines producer in the UEE and they nice. produce a lot and they bought it basically for that yeah and so it destroys the ecosystem, but wouldn't it also destroy the breathable air? Well, it doesn't really at this point in time, because the breathable air here is just created by terraforming machines. Okay. Instead of actual nature, because it's almost impossible to find any nature left on this planet. Yeah, okay. Alright, thanks, thanks. Uh, the workers, like in Arcorp, I don't think you want to work for Arcorp. It kind of sucks. You you work for Arcorp, which is, as I clarified earlier, a very deadly job. Next to that, you live in a house, which is probably you probably bought or are hiring from Arcorp. Next to that, you buy your f <coughs> you buy your food in Arcorp stores, and you eat in Arcorp restaurants, and you are buried or burned in an Arcorp facility. <laughs> So Basically, all the money flow goes back to Arcorp. <laughs> exactly. If you live on Arcorp, you work for Arcorp, you live on Arcorp and your life is Arcorp. Arcorp itself says it's just to, to keep 
the employers so that they don't lose employers, but that's debatable. That's why they have such a bad, quite a bad reputation. I understand now. Uh, the capital of R Corp is Area 18. Some practical information now. For area 18, you can basically get everything in Area 18. You, there are three zones in Area 18, the center, with shops. The first containing a clothing store, casa the, a cassava outlet, and a cubby blast, uh, which is an, an armor and a gun shop. It also contains uh, the... what is it called? I'm sorry, my brain. Yeah, it also contains the Adira Falls, uh, Adira Falls Apartments, the place, the only place you can sleep and, well, basically hire a, rent a apartment as a player or as a citizen. Uh, the Zone 2 has uh, Astra Armada, one of the two only places in the Stantum system where you can buy ships. And also a dumpers depot, which uh, they sell ship parts like fusion engines, but also coolers, power plants, all those kinds of stuff. Zone 3 is more food focused. Zone 3 in area 18 has a bar and all kinds of food stores and stands like hot dog stands and burrito bars. Basically everything you can think of. The last thing is uh, in the Arcorp Tower, you can uh, get into the elevator and there you can find a floor called Center Mass. It's just a Center Mass shop. Center Mass, Center Mass sells uh, ship weaponry. That was basically... Oh no, one last thing. Arcorp is according to Kaizen, which Kaizen is a, uh, a UEE, like it's a news segment from Aaron Schere, produced by Farnes Media Partners, so it's basically a television program which you can watch all over the UEE. And Arcorp is called, uh, has multiple times been called, one of the worst companies in the universe. Uh, the Sinfrold is the actual, the first time a s species, from all species as far as we know, now uh, tries to build a planet their sun, like by themselves. We are doing this because we are kind of embarrassed uh, because of the Messer and the Messers. Uh, in the Messer era, we kind of did a bit of genocide on an entire planet with Sentinels, or in other words, beings who can become intelligent like us, or Not maybe sh already are, were intelligent. They're now dead. Yeah, that got a lot of people mad that actually one of the big reasons why the Messer dynasty fell apart um, but other species also weren't very happy with us doing that species like the Banu, the Xiam they just didn't really <laughs> like the fact that we did that um, and so the UEE when the Messers were gone decided you know what we're going to kind of somehow uh, build a planet ourselves to let all other species see, okay, we're better now, we'll just build plants our, by ourselves instead of terraforming ones with already life on it. Uh, the Sinfrold is the first time we're trying that, and it isn't, it is kind of like the game you're playing right now. They said it would, it would take about 50 years, it's currently taking about 150 years, I believe. Uh, 150 years. It eats a lot of money. Basically, the most budget from the UEE is going to the military and Sinferl. Sinferl is currently under construction in the Kronos system. That is quite a few hundred light years away from here. So, so or at least ten. I they changed the star map. I'm sorry, I'm confused. So, so it's technically Dyson Mega Project. Yeah, kind of, but instead of building a Dyson Sphere, you build an entire planet. An Earth-like planet. 
So how do you throw stuff? You can only throw grenades, but it, for some reason, sometimes also wants you to throw a bottle, but it's Star Citizen, I guess. Why? Well, you can you can throw uh, bottles, you know that, right? Can you just yeah, with the? Oh yeah, you can. I'm still right. Um, like if you stand farther back. And then you look at the bottle. Uh, let's see. And then you press place. And then you can just aim and throw. You have to keep hold uh, place or something? Or, uh... Well, my Hershen tour, I am improving it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't want to do that one. And the Crusader tour is basically done, but with nine tails happening, it's uh, kind of difficult. <laughs> I do also have two more, like, flying through the entire Stantum system, but then it's more boring, it's more focused on just the lore of the entire Stantum system, and it doesn't... It's not really interactive, it's just you can drink and stuff, and it's just quantum traveling and yeah. listening to information. It's basically a lecture in-game, so those are it's a bit more boring. Do you have a plan for the Easter Egg tour? Uh, you mean like the things like the the fruits, trees, and the the berry trees, those kind, of, the berries, bushes. No, no, I'm, I mean, the locales of the of the Stanton system, like interesting um, places. What happens? What the hell? Uh, the station shot on a other ship. Okay, interesting. Interesting. We are fine, and we are landed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before you disembark, warning: there is no atmosphere here. Please. I'll be He's fine. <laughs> I'll be f mm. <laughs> Well, there is a bug. I don't know if it's still here. I can just breathe outside. 